our caucus from the great state of New Mexico, whose reputation has preceded her during her short tenure, uh, Ms. Stansbury, Stansbury from New Mexico. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today on this historic day in which we passed and sent to the President's desk the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act. And it seems appropriate that we should also take a moment now to talk about climate justice, as we are also talking about racial justice in our country. Because the science is clear, we must urgently address the issues of climate change now. We must address the causes of climate change and our greenhouse gas footprint. We must mitigate the impacts of climate change and lift up and support our communities. And we must build a world that is more just, more equitable, and more climate resilient. And to do so, we must do that by investing in our communities, investing in their future, and investing in critical infrastructure that will make that possible. The time is now to be decisive, to be brave in our policy making, to be bold in our investments, and to lean into the science. This is especially critical for New Mexico, my home state, where we are already experiencing the impacts of extreme drought, catastrophic fires, and an uncertain future. I have spent my career working on these issues, and I know that we must invest in infrastructure like our electric grid, broadband infrastructure, drinking water, irrigation, and green infrastructure so that our communities can remain resilient as we are going through this train change and to ensure that we are taking full advantage and leaning into our clean energy future. And we must do all of this through the lens of social, racial, and economic justice by investing in good paying jobs, in the livelihoods and well-being of our communities and of our people. And that is why we need the American Jobs Plan now and the investments that are not only going to be shovel ready, but as a friend of mine says, also shovel worthy. So the time is now to take action on climate change and to ensure that we are investing in the infrastructure that will make it possible for future generations to live resiliently on this planet. And with that, I gratefully, Mr. Speaker, yield back to Chairman Kasten.